want to first get something out of the way here. I'm writing editorials for a libertarian website now. I'll be doing it once or twice a week. Rather, basically, anytime I have something I would rather uh, you read than hear. No, I'm not getting paid, but at least I'm getting off my ass about getting some writing out there. Uh, the website is freedomsphoenix.com, and I'm posting a link right over there. Uh, I would appreciate if you'd come over and read the articles if you get a chance. You can leave comments and stuff. Click editorials at the bottom of the page. Actually, I'm sorry, it's at the top. <laughs> I'm under the name John Factious. Uh, tonight, though, I want to quickly talk about Newt Gingrich. Since the death of Jerry Falwell, he has been going around pretty much uh, trying to pick up the pieces of the moral majority, which is the organization Falwell started, and make himself the leader of it. Uh, I've never had much to say about Newt, other than he's always struck me as a blowhard with a very large head. That's always been fine until I read a transcript of a speech he gave to some moral majority people at Liberty University four days after the death of Falwell. He's rambling on about God-giving rights and uh, pretty much whatever these people want to hear. I'm totally okay with this cult-like undercurrent of religious extremism, so long as they keep to themselves most of the time, and I can laugh at their crazy ideas. This speech hit a raw nerve with me, though. Uh, it, two paragraphs, two paragraphs apart. I'll skip the middle two for your convenience, but trust me, I'm not removing any context. Go look up the speech yourself if you like. Here it goes. <clears throat> Quote, Even today, these truths continue to sustain and guide us. In this age, we face the irreconcilable wing of Islam, an enemy who does not believe that God created all men equal by right, according to their evil ideology. The Islamists believe that justice is only owed to fellow Islamists, while the rest of humanity, even fellow Muslims, has no rights. And then the next paragraph, you won't believe your ears, quote, To his great credit, Reverend Falwell decided to step forward publicly and counter the outrageous intolerance of the secular absolutists. We often hear the need to celebrate free secular and artistic expression, but rarely for religious expression. This anti-religious bias must end. Wait a minute! He calls the wing of Islam irreconcilable, their ideology evil, and then goes on to say, praise be Falwell for countering outrageous intolerance of absolutists, then actually has the nuts to say that anti-religious bias must end. I wonder if he wonders why anyone would be anti-religious when there is a person like Jerry Falwell countering intolerance with intolerance. Does this make any fucking sense? Why would anyone want to celebrate this type of religious expression? Really, Newt? Should we throw you a fucking parade for being a religious, bigoted extremist on par with the so-called radically evil Muslim clerics? Oh, how wonderful your religious expression is. It makes me want to wave a flag around and thank Jerry Falwell for everything he's done for behavioral science. How I admire your ability to be an unapologetic hypocrite, not to mention intolerant too. Of course, this calls for a ticker tape parade like John Glenn got when he orbited the fucking planet. It already looks like you're wearing a helmet, just paint your face gold. Bring me some fucking moon rocks, are they really made of cheese? You're a goddamn spaceman now, Newt. Congratulations. Anyway, enjoy Freedom's Phoenix, and I'll try to keep you updated when I post something new.